The Travis Scott Burger is here. But wait, if you live in Canada, it is not here quite yet because it's only in the US. What I did is, I live in Canada right now. People that watches me, they know that I live in Canada. What I did is, I drove from Ottawa to a US border that is about, I think it was about an hour and 20 minutes only to get you the Travis Scott Burger. What if we live in Canada? I don't wanna keep driving an hour and a half to get Travis Scott Burger, you know? I wanna have it at home. So we're gonna recreate it at my house. I wanna show you guys the step-by-step -step how to recreate the Travis Scott Burger so you can make it at home if you live anywhere in the world because it's only in the US. But first of all, let me show you Travis's order. They gave me three barbecue sauce. I don't know why, I asked for literally one French fries because he dips his fries in the barbecue sauce. That's what we have. And his burger, the Travis Scott. It has 630 calories. Not bad, not bad. It cost me six US dollars. Was cheap in Canada here, six dollars, about 12 bucks. But let me show you Travis's burger. As you guys can see, it's a very traditional quarter pound burger. But what he adds in it is shredded lettuce and bacon. How it is, I'm not gonna take a bite right now. I'm gonna put it on the side and we're about to recreate our own exactly what he has in his burger, but do it at home. See how it's gonna taste and if we can recreate the Travis Scott every day from our house, what it takes. First thing we need are tomatoes. And just like that, we have all the tomatoes spread out. Wait, don't think it has tomatoes, does it? No, it does not. All right, so that was a waste of a tomato cup. Yeah, that's the actual stuff that we need. We need lettuce, we need pickles, and we need onions for the first steps, okay? We need to cut every single one. Let's start with the lettuce. We need to cut them thin and long, just like the McDonald's one. Just like so. And here we go, that's the lettuce that we have. As you guys can see, they're tall and nicely cut. Two nice pickles. Just like so, oh my God, look at how perfectly shaped in a circle, just like the McDonald's. Hmm, that's our pickles. Time to cut the onion. I hate cutting onion, you know, because you're gonna cry and all that's gonna happen. Pay a lot of attention on the onion. I'm gonna put it right here. Look at this. Boom! We have it spread out and cut into small pieces, literally like the McDonald's one cut them. As you guys can see, look how small and nice they look. Now that we have everything cut up, the sauces that he adds are ketchup and a little bit of mustard. So we're gonna add this at the end. But now it's time to go to the oven, make the quarter pound patties, which is the very important part, the bacon and the bun. Let's do it. We're starting with a quarter pound of patties. First of all, we need the butter all over the pan. What I added on top of the burger as seasoning was this called Legree. Some salt and pepper and cheese from both sides. But meanwhile this is cooking, we need to make our bacon. I have the oven on for 350 degrees Celsius and now it's time to put the bacon on. And boom, let's get it. Time to add the cheddar cheese, just like this on top. Boom. Actually, it might be a little too big. This knife is clean, don't worry. Cheese melted, looking so nice and juicy. Oh my God, I'm actually very excited to try this. Need to put one more cheese at the bottom. But meanwhile, this is going on and the bacon in the oven cooking. We need to do the buns, all right? We're gonna put some nice butter at the bottom of the bun. A little crispier than the McDonald's bun. We need to step it up. And Charles Cuss is gonna be very proud because it's gonna be. This is our butter right here. All over the. All right, we have everything. As you guys can see, the patties, let me show you the patties first of all. Look how nice, crispy, and brown they look. Look at this one, that's the top bun. With the sesame seeds, and I'm gonna show you the picture of the Travis Scott burger. That's what it looks like. It looks really, really good. At the bottom, there's the sauce, and then there's the cheese, then the patty, then another cheese, and the bacon, and all the vegetables on top of everything. So let's recreate this and see which one is better, mine or McDonald's. But Travis, you know, don't take no offense because I'm telling you, the Hobbs, Hobbs burger, maybe I should have a burger. Who's texting me right now? Oh, can't be mad at that, it's my girlfriend. Here we go, we're gonna put a little bit of ketchup at the bottom bun. You know, twist it like that, make it really nice. Now, it's time to put the cheese. I did this cheese, it is very hot. Put it right on top. Now it's time to put the patty right on top like so. And now it's time to put everything on top of everything. We're gonna start with the bacon. Look at those nice bacon strips. Oh my God, they're so nice and crispy. I had to, I had to, I'm very sorry. One, two. See, I know Travis loves his bacon. Put a little extra more bacon than we're supposed to, just for the vibe. Here we go, we're gonna use most of the bacon that we made. Oh my God, that's gonna, mm, it's gonna taste so good, I can't wait to have this. And then the pickles, literally cut exactly like the McDonald's. We're gonna put four of them. And then on top of that, we're gonna put some lettuce. The lettuce that we cut, here we go, that's the lettuce. 
a little bit of lettuce. Oh my god, this already looks delish. All right, on top of everything, a little bit of onion. Oh my god, I'm super stoked to have this. And now it's time to add a little bit of mustard. It is weird. I don't know why he likes mustard. I don't really rate mustard. I don't like mustard on my burger, but you know, Travis eats it that way. And that's what it is on the quarter pounder. There's mustard on the top. We're spreading it. And I added a little bit of ketchup because you know, I can't just have mustard. And here we go. That's how it is with the mustard and everything. Bang! That's literally the Travis Scott burger from McDonald's, made at home, DIY. Let me show you guys a closer look. Look at this. It is safe to say that mine, first of all, looks way bigger, way juicier than the McDonald's one. This is mine right here, that's McDonald's. They're both the Travis Scott burger, but one is made at home with pure ingredient, fresh ground beef and everything. And the thing is, at the grocery store, it cost me 25 bucks to buy everything. From the patties, to the beef, to the pickles, to the onions, everything cost 25 bucks. This cost six US dollars. So you can see the difference. Obviously, this is more higher quality than that. Let me show you a closer look of both together so you guys can get the idea of how better it is to make this burger at home and have the Travis Scott burger right in your kitchen. You don't need to go to McDonald's, let me show you. It's time for the ultimate decision and take a bite of both, right? I'm gonna start taking a bite from the Travis Scott, the Travis Scott McDonald burger. Here we go. That is a really good burger. That's a quarter pound. I love the quarter pound and that's what it is. I love it. Mm. He didn't add too much to it. We forgot the barbecue sauce with the fries. Here we go. Because this is what Travis does. Dips his fries in the barbecue. Let's see if it's a vibe or not. Here we go. It's the barbecue sauce. That's the fries. It's definitely a vibe. Super excited to take a bite from my own burger that I've done at home. Oh my god. Actually guys though, look at this. Like, it looks so perfect other than this lettuce getting fallen off. Here we go. Homemade Travis Scott. Mmm. This is incredible. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever made a burger better than this. A regular quarter pounder doesn't have bacon. The adding of the bacon is super crunchy. It adds a little kick to it. And talking about the lettuce, usually every single burger I eat, I add lettuce to it. Like it has lettuce already in it. But the add of the lettuce is very crunchy as well. It's super good. I'm gonna say the Travis Scott burger is super nice. Like, Good job McDonald's for this marketing. It's super genius. I'm sure it's selling everywhere. It's like the Dunkin' Donut. They did the Charlie, the Charlie D'Amelio drink, the TikTok star, you know, for McDonald's. Only had Michael Jordan in 1992 to do something with McDonald's. And now they have Travis Scott. The Hobbs burger could be, or actually the Hobbs chicken strips. Oh, I would buy this. Too. I would go and buy this tomorrow. And I would love whoever does it for me because Popeye did the Migos. If you smash the like button, the power of the internet can make my dream come true, you know, having a meal after me. Before I end this video, I really want to do this. I'm going to see if my mom knows who Travis Scott is. Okay. This is my mom, by the way. I'm going to show you a picture and tell me who the person is in the picture, okay? Okay. Don't look at the food, just ignore that. This picture. Okay. This is the picture I'm showing her. I'm showing her this. All right. Who is this guy? I don't know. You have no idea? No. Okay, what do you think he does? Maybe he's a singer. A singer? Yeah. Yeah, he is a singer. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's it. You don't know who Travis Scott is, right? You've never heard of Travis Scott? No. You've heard of Drake? No. You've heard of Justin Bieber? Yeah. My mom doesn't have no clue who Travis Scott is or Drake. I'm very shocked that she doesn't know Drake. I'm always playing Drake music, but it's fine. She knows Justin Bieber. You know, if I know one celebrity that everyone knows, I would say Barack Obama. Everybody knows who Barack Obama is. But anyways, this is a Travis Scott burger. I love that meal. I would literally, I'm gonna start getting it way more often and in Canada, if you want it in Canada, all you have to do is say you want the quarter pounder, add shredded lettuce, and add bacon. And that's the Travis Scott burger. This is what it is. And they have some toys actually coming up with it in the US. I don't know if you guys seen this or if anyone actually got it. These are some of the toys that I could find online, but it is a vibe, you know, it's a collection item. I would collect that stuff. I really wanna get to 300K before the end of this year, just so I can say that I achieved something in 2020. Whatever is going on in the world, subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. And if you've been subscribed to my channel and you know what's going on, Tomorrow, oh my god, I have a banger video for you guys. You are not ready. Like, I'm not ready for it. I don't know how it's gonna go. It's a big surprise. It is a big surprise for me, for you, for everybody. I don't know how I'm gonna be handling this, but I cannot wait. I'm super excited. But for now, this is all. The Travis Cup Burger is a 10 out of 10, literally. Let me know what Travis Cup Burger looked better. Mine that I did, or the one from McDonald's. Comment down below, Hobbs or McDonald's. But this is all for now. I love you. As always, turn your haters to motivators. I will see you next time. A pace.